Good morning, and welcome to episode 197 of Getting Rich. I'm your host, Rich Checkin, President of Asset Strategies International, and today is Wednesday, October 23rd, 2024. Today I'm coming to you live from the Aria Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. Uh, I am here attending and speaking at the Stansberry conference and alliance meeting. Uh, Porter got things kicked off uh, Monday uh, with some comments that were near and dear to my heart because I followed him later in the day talking about gold and gold is a big part of his uh, permanent portfolio uh, patterned after Harry Brown's permanent portfolio uh, for uh, folks that want to kind of set and forget if you will. Uh, gold's a big part of that along with cash and stocks and so forth. Uh, but uh, he made the case that central banks uh, have been buying gold like there's no tomorrow and of course you, our listeners, know this very well, uh, and that the prognosis looked good going forward for gold. Uh, we did not hear all gloom and doom, which you might think would be the case. Uh, it's a lot of positive messaging, thinking that there's a lot of opportunity still in this market. Uh, let's take a look at the numbers, and I'll tell you some of the things that I talked about. Uh, first off, gold. 2,752.60 an ounce. That's up 2.9% from last week at 2,675.20. Silver is up 8.7% this week, finally starting to break out and show its uh, authority over gold in the bull market run. It's at $34.65. Last week it was $31.89 at this time. Uh, platinum is up 4.5%, uh, trading at 1,042 an ounce, up $41 from last week's mark at 1,001 an ounce. And uh, palladium is up 5.3%, uh, trading at 1,096 an ounce. It was 1,041 last week. With gold outperforming silver, you can only imagine that the gold-silver ratio, or the number of ounces of silver it takes to buy an ounce of gold, has come down, and uh, has come down actually below that magic number of 80, and it happened pretty quickly. Uh, we went uh, from last week at 83.89 to this week down to 79.44. Uh, and the dollar, amidst it all, has slightly strengthened on the uh, index. It's up at 104.41. Last week it was 103.28. So it's up over uh, a little over a point. Um, I made the case uh, that I'm sure you're all very familiar with because you've heard me speak, you've read, read our, our writings over the years. Uh, the bottom line is the Fed is continuing, at least at the moment, at this uh, uh, cutting cycle. Uh, central bank buying continues, whether or not China is part of it. They are buying hand over fist. That continues. We continue to have geopolitical strife uh, and flashpoints all over the globe that is uh, very concerning to investors and is driving them to safe haven flows. Uh, you know where Congress stands. They still have no will to balance a budget. Uh, the Neither uh, potential uh, incoming administration, whether it be a Harris administration or Trump administration, has any desire to cut entitlements. Uh, so uh, we're not going to put a dent in that debt of 35 plus trillion. Uh, and all in all, it means one thing. We are just getting started. I know gold is up over $2,700 an ounce already here in uh, October. It's nearing year-end uh, goals for a lot of uh, financial analysts and uh, uh, prognosticators. Uh, silver finally breaking out uh, that 45-year cup and handle formation. It's breaking out and it's starting to assert itself over gold in terms of appreciation. And folks, we're just getting started. We've been consolidating for four years to do exactly this. It's time to get some gold. Uh, as always, uh, I'd like you to go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel like us, send us your comments, uh, subscribe for our twice weekly, always something interesting alerts, subscribe to our social media, take our monthly information line newsletter. But in the end, don't ever forget that getting rich starts with keeping what's yours.